Hey everyone, welcome back to Foxtag and in this video I'm gonna share some valuable tips on how to increase your productivity using the Magic Mouse. Whether you're on the Mac or iPad, these strategies are very effective, at least in my opinion, so let's dive right in. One of the most effective ways to enhance your productivity is by enabling hot corners. If you're familiar with the trackpad on your MacBook, you know how useful it is to swipe up with three fingers to see all open apps. This feature is incredibly convenient for quickly switching between apps, especially when you need one app for a few seconds and another one for a few minutes and so on. But when you connect the Magic Mouse, you lose this functionality, right? So this is where hot corners come in. Hot corners allow you to set up actions that occur when you swipe to each corner of your screen. To enable them, go to the settings, navigate somewhere to the accessibility or perhaps just use the search bar and type that in. And you can customize what happens when, as I said, you quickly swipe to one corner of the screen. For instance, you can set one corner to show all open apps, similar to the trackpad gesture. This is how I have it set up. And for me, it's second nature by the time, uh, of course, I've been using this. So yeah, it's very easy. You just go there and open up the apps and everything is very useful. So as I said, I have the top left corner set to open the view of all apps, which helps me stay organized. And my top right corner is configured to show all windows from the same app. For example, if you have multiple folders open, swiping to the corner will preview, preview all of them, right? Which allows me to see exactly what I'm working with. This feature is really helpful when juggling between multiple tasks and windows. Another tip to boost productivity is increasing the tracking speed of your Magic Mouse. Personally, if the cursor moves too slowly, it can be very frustrating and inefficient. I know for a fact that my productivity is higher when I switch to slightly faster speed of the mouse. So yeah, it's also um, something that you have to find out for yourself, right? Okay, but another thing, if you go to the mouse settings within the um, MacBook settings, you should also set up the right-click capabilities. Now, obviously, if you don't have it set up, then you won't be access, won't be able to access the, the secondary click. So I think this is crucial for productivity because no matter if you want to paste, copy, whatever, you need to have the right-click there. So simply enable it. But yeah, these are the basic productivity things which I need to have set up on my Mac if I'm using a mouse. Perhaps I'm going to make an updated video in the future, so make sure to stay tuned, hit the subscribe button or something, and I'll catch you guys later in the future.